Hey guys, welcome back to Nerd Crave. I've got my daughters with me today. You've seen both of them on the channel before. This is Lily, this is Ivy, hey. and today we're going to try some interesting gamer snacks from different parts of the world. So sit back, relax, and see what we think of some of these weird snacks. As you can see here, we've got stuff from Japan, the Philippines, all over the place, India. So we're going to open up these bags and see what we're going to get into. Let's hope. What do you think? What do you think some of this stuff's going to taste like? What do you think? This one's from Japan, and it's like something corn. I think it's going to taste like popcorn. I think it's going to taste like popcorn. Okay. And this one, boy balang, chili cheese flavor. Probably spicy. Looks like maybe it's like corn, uh, what do corn you call nuts? those things? Like those little corn nuts? I think it might be corn nuts. And this one is slanty. It looks almost like uh, penne pasta, doesn't it? Looks like it? pasta. Pasta chips. And it's just salted. It almost looks like salted pasta. That's kind of weird. And then this one is... Where's this one from? Japan. No idea what it's called other than Kalbi. And it's something to do with corn. It's got pictures of corn and garlic. I think it's going to be like little... Looks maybe, like high french fries. Might be like... Corn chips? Garlic flavored corn chips? It almost looks like, uh, you know, those Doritos Crun or uh, Cheetos Crunchy? Mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of looks like Cheetos like Crunchy, Cheeto but maybe like garlic flavor. And then what is this? This is called Chulbule. Uh, ready to eat chep chepate, chepate, spicy? There's jalapenos on there. That's going to be really spicy. Yeah, this one's going to be spicy, probably. And it's this so one's spicy. from, where's this one from? India. India. Okay. And then there. And then what's that one? Cheese balls. <laughs> cheese, balls cheese balls from, where, is they, where are they from? Philippines. This Philippines. one's inflated. All right, so we're going to open all these up and uh, we'll get right back at you here. Okay, so we're back. So we've got everything open now. There's definitely some interesting aromas coming from here. So we're going to try each one of these individually and see what we think. We've got a couple of glasses here because we also picked up a couple of interesting drinks. I'm not sure where this is from, but it's called uh, Sagiko Winter Melon Drink. It's probably from Singapore, uh, I think. Yeah, it says Singapore on the can, maybe, but it's also got, like, it's Arabic Vietnam. writing. Oh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Product of Vietnam. Okay, so that's interesting. So we'll crack this open first, and we'll, uh, we'll each try... That was a good-sounding can. A little bit. Ooh, it has, like, a ginger ale kind of... Less fizzy, even. No, like, uh, the color is ginger ale. Looks like ginger ale. It, it, it does have little, like, particles in it. Maybe it does. It smells like chocolate. Yeah, it smells like nutty chocolate. That's mm. really maple syrup. Odd, kinda. but good. I don't like it. it. Just yeah, it just tastes like maple syrup. It tastes like okay. maple syrup. Actually, no, it tastes like the toffee nut syrup from Starbucks. <laughs> it tastes just like, like a, yeah, like yeah, it's kind of like a and... nutty syrup. I was thinking melon. I was thinking it was going to be kind of like minty watermelony or something. I was but... thinking like um. Honeydew melon. I thought it was going to be. Um, it's not disgusting. Minty. Oh, it's it, yeah. It just it kind of. It's, it's I was expecting sweet. like a soft drink, and it's more like almost like a coffee liqueur sort of a flavor, like a hazelnut. Yeah. It's it's too sweet though to like actually drink like a Coke or something. It's so let's start though. with which was this one? This was Philippines cheese balls. The cheese the balls. So take a couple of those. Take one of those. I'll take one of these. They're cheese balls. They're less fluffy, though. Yeah. A little bit different flavor of cheese, though. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'm not eating another one. No? You didn't like it? They're it's fine. Like, they're just not fluffy, so it's weird. They're, like, kind of more stale, and they don't have flavor on the inside. Like yeah, regular, it's not really stale. They're just more crispy. Yeah, like, yeah. like um, American cheese balls have, like, cheese all through it. Like, the bread is, like, flavored cheese, and then with the cheese... Coating, but these are just like cheese coating and they're just more crispy. Well, the cheese flavor is a little bit different than you're used to, too. <laughs> Pick it out. You like they're the good. So, what have we got next? Okay, so next we've got India, and I'm you can scared. really smell like the curry sort of a, a, a smell coming off curry this. So, spicy. I know I'm gonna like this just from the smell, but I think some people here might not like this I'm so much. I'm gonna take a tiny nugget. 
Take a tiny nugget, Ivy. It's a bigger nugget. Do you want my tiny nugget? Mm -mm, I'm just going to eat a tiny bit of it. Mmm. Hey. I actually really like this. I ain't finishing that nugget. It's really spicy. I like that. Mm -hmm. Now, I really like Indian food. I really like, uh, you know, curry dishes and stuff like that. And there's definitely a strong flavor of curry, and there is a little bit of a spiciness to it as well. A so what was this bit. called? Chul... Chul... You think that's a little bit? Chul... It tastes like... It tastes like the beef powder of ramen noodles. Just eating... A little bit, like if you get spicy beef ramen noodles or something. I didn't get a taste. It was just really spicy. Well, you're weak. Yeah. Mmm. They're not really... I'm like, going to eat that whole bowl. I really like those. I went... I'm actually going to show you some footage here because I picked up some footage while I was at the store. I went to uh, an Asian supermarket and picked up all of these different things that I'd never seen before. <laughs> just for this video, for something interesting. The amount of stuff at that store that I had never seen was unbelievable. Uh, you know... Being, I guess, a white guy in Canada, like, we don't get a whole lot of international stuff unless you go to a specialty store like that. I'm sure there are thousands of other products we've never tried, but I thought it was pretty interesting just to, you know, see what kind of gamer snacks people are eating in other countries. So let's try something from Japan here. What was this? This, uh... Okay, this was the thing we thought was going to be, like, kind of like garlic-flavored Cheetos or crunchy something. Cheetos. Yeah, they, they look like crunchy Cheetos. Like, yeah. if somebody showed this to me, but, like, photoshopped it the color of the cheese bowl and said, this is a crunchy Cheeto, I'd believe them. I'm like... Mmm! Ew. You don't like it? You don't like garlic? They don't have a flavor. Yeah, they're garlicky. They taste like... Roasted garlic with maybe a hint of, like, hickory or something. Mm -hmm. It tastes exactly like the little garlic bread things at Domino's. Yeah, kind of like... Garlic that's bites. actually Yeah, like the parm bites at, at Domino's, yeah. That's actually... It's very similar to that. And that was from Japan, right? Mm hmm Fried garlic seasoning, soy sauce powder, and garlic paste and citric acid. Those are, like, the flavorings. Okay, let's try some more of this drink. I'm good. It's too sweet. I didn't like it. It, like, kind of, like, it's so sweet in my throat, it kind of, like, burns almost. It's kind of weird. I, like, I wouldn't buy this again, but it's almost like this would be good if you, like, poured it in a cup of coffee or something. Mm -hmm. Or in Starbucks. Yeah, or into, like, Starbucks. Okay, so what have we got next? Okay, up here we've got these... Completely white pasta noodles from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Let's see what these taste like. There's a weird texture here. But I like it. They taste I mean, like rice cakes. Yeah, it kind of tastes like salted rice cakes. Hmm. I got a bit of a different... Very like, mild flavor. Like, I was expecting something a lot more spicy from Pakistan. But, uh... Yeah, it's just kind of like salted they rice. Kind of, they kind of have like a packing peanut foam texture, though. Yeah, kind of, kind of foam sort of a feel to them. I would say not bad by any means, though. They're definitely munchable. Okay, so we've just uh, emptied our cups, so we can try the other drink, which is Mr. Brown Cappuccino Iced Coffee. And where is this from? Uh, product of Taiwan. I don't hate it. <laughs> So it comes in kind of a coffee. weird stubby can. I think Lily and I are going to like this, but like Ivy coffee. hates coffee. I hate coffee. So we're just going to give her a little sip. Ooh. Wait, it doesn't smell. It smells like a frappuccino. Like a vanilla It smells like James's almost. coffee with a little bit of um, alcohol in it. Good. That's pretty good. You know, I've had uh, <laughs> I've had quite a few different uh, you know canned iced coffees, even like the energy drink ones, like the Monster coffee flavor or the Rockstar coffee flavor. And this is a little more bold, and it almost does have a hint of like an Irish cream sort yeah, of. Yeah, it's a... like a caramelly kind of. 
It's really not bad though. Like uh, I would definitely, it's really bad, I would definitely though. buy this again. It's it's quite good. It's good to coffee lovers, not to people who don't like coffee. So we left off with these uh, uh, rice snacks from Pakistan. The next thing we were going to move on to here is from the Philippines, and these are obviously corn nuts, but they're spiced uh, in a certain way. They were called boy bawang or whatever, uh, and they're chili cheese flavor. I'm guessing corn nuts. So uh, let's let's have a try here. I guess these are like Doritos corn nuts, maybe. Mm, that's what it looks like. Mm. Yeah. Not as cheesy as I'd like them to be, but they're not bad and nice and crunchy. They're just I Doritos. I had Doritos like an hour ago. I expected them to be like spicy chili, like like a a chili, not like taste like. The like pot of chili you make, it tastes like the the dish and not like the spice. Yeah, it tastes like nacho cheese flavor that you would get like with nachos and cheese, like the actual kind of spicy nacho cheese. There's a little bit of a spice to it. It's not as strong a flavor of cheese as like Doritos or something, yeah, but they're, they're nice and crunchy. That's actually a really good snack. I would eat these again. Like the whole flavor on them is kind of just like not as strong. It's kind of just like not really like there. It feels like it's kind of hiding. So the last thing we've got here to try, and this one is from Japan again, and uh, can't really read exactly what this says. It's like chubby corn or something like that. But they look like uh, bugles. Yeah, they look exactly like bugles, as you can see here. I mean, we're familiar with bugles here in North America. Let's it try them. Like bugles. They taste like bugles. They're li literally like exactly like bugles like i wonder if it's like the same company or the same recipe and they've just rebranded it for the japanese mm -hmm. market or something because it's literally exactly yeah. maybe not as salty as bugles maybe yeah they're like, like plain bugles with less salt like not even yeah. salted bugles they just taste like they're plain yeah they're super plain the but they're like they look exactly like bugles they taste exactly like bugles they taste a bit more pastry-esque than bugles. Bugles, or like American bugles, taste like like a chip more. These taste more like a pastry. I think these are too bland. Yeah, they're like really bland. They are bland, but they're, again, like they're a decent snack. Like it's not disgusting. I was super worried that most of this stuff we were gonna find like really weird, but actually a lot of this stuff is pretty good. Uh, how would you guys rank these? Um, um, I think the cheese balls um, are like the most American along with the bugles. I think these are the most American. The corn nuts? I think like, because I feel like there is already before. there is already like cheese balls and bugle. Those are like they're like exactly replicas of the American version. The corn nuts, corn nuts are everywhere and they have a more of like a, a Philippines like flavor. Um and then these ones are just kind of weird. Like they just like they're they're crunchy Cheetos. The crunchy Cheetos, just with a different flavor, and then I think these are the most odd. Yeah, these and these were from Pakistan. Would you think? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these these rice pasta. I mean, it literally looks like a I piece of penne pasta. It's literally just rice. I, I think it's rice with a little bit of salt on it. It's very bland, and it's totally not what I expected mm -hmm. from Pakistan. I figured it'd be something very, you know, curry or spicy, jalapenos or hot, you know, hot peppers or something, but it's quite bland. Ivy likes them. I don't mind them. I could definitely snack on them, but I don't think I would Ooh. go out of my way. I'm going to take Put this in mouth with that. It tastes exactly like ramen, like a Mr. Noodles ramen. Yeah. That's a, it, that... I think if I were put, to put these into three separate groups, like the best, the middle, and then the worst ones, these two would be the best, these two would be in the middle, and these two would be the worst. <laughs> and for me, I like new experiences, and I absolutely love Middle Eastern and Indian food and things like that, so I really love these two. This, uh, which was this one? Again, I can't really uh, pronounce it, but Chubul Ch Chat Pate. Uh, loved it actually. It's uh, you know, curry, curry Cheetos basically. They're 
quite good. And then uh, these ones are basically, were they from Japan? These yeah. are mine and I'm taking these them home. These are basically these roasted are garlic Cheetos and they're fantastic. I love them. These, these are, are mine and dibs. I'm taking them home. Dibs Anyways, dibs. guys, the battery's just about to die on my camera, so we will bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. We're putting up new videos all the time. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. And hey, thanks for watching. Stay classy. Yeah, these are mine. I want to Those are mine. Okay, later.